The term we use in medicine is STI, which stands for sexually transmitted infection. The older term was STD, which stood for sexually transmitted disease. But all of these are caused by infections, and that's why we use the newer term STI. It can be a bacteria, it can be a virus that is transmitted through a sex act, and that can be oral sex, vaginal sex, or anal sex. In the case of chlamydia and gonorrhea in young women, it can cause chronic infections that lead to pelvic inflammatory disease and sometimes even infertility. So that's why it's very important not only that we identify whether or not they're infected, but treat them right away so they don't transmit the infection to others and they don't have long-term effects themselves. Syphilis is another sexually transmitted infection that's caused by a bacteria where these numbers have been going up in the United States every year as well. And syphilis can cause some very significant long-term consequences if it's not diagnosed and treated early on. And those are wide ranging from cardiovascular problems to problems with the brain to skin problems and all sorts of other implications.